Hey, Coin Junkie, you still in here? Let me drop the link for you. There we go. If you want to come up, I have to wait for some people to get in here. I know I just left Big Flips, so it'll be a little bit, but we'll start getting people rolling in here. Getting everything laid out for tonight. Hey, Chu, what's up? How are you, my friend? Welcome in. There's Point Chucky. Hey, hey, brother. How are you, sir? I am doing awesome. Great. Ramming some coffee down my throat and some Mountain Dew. And nice. I could use some coffee, but I've already. I'm up to about. I don't know, seven or eight cups are ready, so maybe I need to lay off a bit. Yeah. I uh, had a cup of coffee, a Mountain Dew, just went and got another Mountain Dew. Well, I went out and went metal detecting. Nice. Um, after I get done uh, with the gun show, uh -huh. the, pew -pew, the Pew Pew Show. Okay. Um, and bought some stuff there. And right. uh, Do you just collect? Or are you a hunter? Well, no, I, I went for the coins because a lot of times they'll have coin dealers there. Oh, okay. And I, I found a really cool piece. Nice. I'll have to show you this. It's a five ouncer. Wow. Nice. I like that. Yeah. Very cool. Very proofy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice five ounce silver bar there. It's a little, you know, it's a different kind of bar. It's interesting. No, very. I love the design. I love the flag. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice. I like it. And what they need to do is make one a candidate that like stacks on top of it. Oh, hey, yeah. me, what's up? How are you, John? Shake, welcome, man. Yeah, I was just showing everybody the. Uh, I went to the Pew Pew show, Pew Pew and Knife show today. Nice. And uh, pick this up. That'll be going up for the auction. The five ounce bar. I almost want to keep it. There's Ashes. Right. <laughs> hey, Ashes. Mr. Hey, Ashes. hey, everybody. How's it going? Good. And yourself? Awesome. Good. 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 Yeah. So I picked up a few things there. and got oh, some I, I did. I picked up this really cool backpack, though. Ugh, let me grab it. <laughs> so when I'm out filming, uh -huh. it's uh, across the chest wrap. Yeah, those are, I like those. Right. So, and then I bought the patches to go on it. Nice. Like, surrender the booty. <laughs> and then I bought the navy patches for it. Cool. And uh, but I got a few other patches that I'll have up for sale that I've even got right now. But yeah, it's a nice little pack. It'll hold my camera and everything else when I'm out. And then I have another uh, side pack for when I'm huh. out and too. Nice. Uh, water and everything else. There you oh. go, Red Silver. So you don't go at all for the pew pews? Uh, it's only just because of the coins? Well, I, I I haven't gone hunting since 2005. Oh, wow. I, I really miss it. I'd yeah. like to get back into bird hunting and take my 14 year old son out. Oh, heck um, yeah. But to hunt, on my parents and relatives place it's stupid expensive to go because they're in new mexico oh okay it's the next state over so then you're out of state uh-huh um license and yeah. it's just dumb no, and I, I don't know of any of the farmers and ranchers around here that i can actually hunt on so uh, i mean it's been at least oh gosh i don't know a good seven or eight years i've been out doing 90s hunting but well, for turkey deer, I had a yeah. buddy at a, uh, a farm for chuckers, uh -huh. and uh, yeah, that's how I used to spend my my time before uh, before the kiddos. But yep. 
now that they're getting older, uh, my daughter especially, she's really interested in maybe uh, taking up a hunt with me. And uh, she's getting to that age where I might consider it. Well, yeah. And the thing is, how old is she? My daughter? She's... Yeah. She's how old? You Seven. Cut out. Seven. Okay. I was kind of hoping maybe uh, just like like early teens, like between 10 and 12, maybe. I don't know. Like, I don't want to traumatize the poor thing, but she's seen it on TV, my old photos with all the rabbits, birds, all that. Uh, right. She's into the fishing. She loves it. So she's an outdoors girl, right? So she, uh, I'm sure she would enjoy it. I just, I don't know. I, I kind of... Well... Um, on the fence about it <laughs> yeah work work your way into it like you know yeah. just go out and you know if you have a bb gun and then uh -huh. just put some cans up and have her shoot the bb gun For and sure. then kind of work your way up to like a 22 yeah <clears throat> and then eventually you can get when she's probably about 10 um you'll get some clays and throw you know like you get a 20 mm -hmm. gauge uh that doesn't have or a 410 sure. that doesn't have much kick to it yeah and they'll be able to hold it because otherwise no, it's absolutely. Too absolutely. and yeah. like i said i, I know i let my missus uh she uh, we went hunting once and uh she she used <coughs> my shotgun for the first time and uh, she told me straight up that it was really scary and intimidating to take that first <laughs> shot. and yeah. uh, i take that for granted because uh, I, I guess i'm such a guy that i just look forward to pulling that trigger as many times as i can right like but yeah yeah so we'll see you know baby steps <laughs> yeah because i mean that's what my dad did for me i mean we started out had a bb gun uh -huh. and then i got a 22 when i was 10. Nice. and i mean i shot everything that moved with that 22. <laughs> nice <laughs> you know living out in the country and killing birds and snakes and you Jeez. name it you know what i use my 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 rabbits uh, 12 gauge bread uh, semi-auto and I, I mean, I use that thing for everything. I just change the choke on it. If I go for turkeys, if I go for birds, if I go for, for right. deer. I mean, I'm always, it's just, it's a, it's a nice universal um, piece of hardware. And yeah. uh, I've always enjoyed it. But hopefully that day will come where we get to go back up. Because aside from the hunting aspect of it, mm -hmm. I to call in a turkey. I mean, just to hear them in the background hearing them slowly come out of the you know to get closer to you and then right in their little strut as they you know what i mean um, right something about that experience that really gets me uh going you know what i mean really makes my oh day. yeah it gets your adrenaline going and excitement oh. fun well i mean that's you know the last time i went deer hunting was 2005 that was, uh, right before my dad passed away nice. and uh, we went out and we killed an eight point not mule deer that thing was like 200 probably closer to 300 pounds massive deer wow and we field dress it out there and my buddy had never shot a buck before oh. and i was to me i was like it's no big deal you know sure 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 growing, growing up and shooting three a year uh -uh. You know, my mom's license me and my dad's license we filled up the freezer and that's what we lived on heck yeah and um Oh, it's still oh, of deer meat. I mean, uh, yeah. I, I grew up eating deer sausage, deer jerky, deer st like steak. Deer uh, steak, yeah, chicken yeah. fried deer steak. Oh man, just one of my favorite meat. Now, some people get a little bit turned off because of the color of the meat, but honestly, to me, it's not gamey at all. It's got a nice Ooh. taste. Uh, I don't know. I enjoy it. Well, not all our all of ours were grain fed, uh, fed because they were all out in the fields uh, of the farmers, and so they were all you know they didn't have that gamey taste now if you went up into the mountains in new mexico up in the rockies mm -hmm. they would have a gamey taste because their diet consisted of like needles and uh -huh. whatever they could dig out uh, up in the woods but down in the lower land uh where all the farms and stuff were they, they, they no gamey taste at all to them and that, oh, i mean we had deer steak yeah all the time deer chili nice you name it yeah, yeah you know what there's some of the best jerky i've ever had was deer jerky. oh yeah beautiful it's sweet it's delicious mm -hmm. just yeah good stuff hey what is up tiger stacker welcome in red silver <coughs> yeah I... 
<laughs> Go out, turn on your mic for the turkeys and the cows. Yeah. Oh man, don't even talk to me, man. We went out for a drive in the country about a week ago, and we spotted at least a group of thirty males. Because for us, our season is just about to start. It's the yeah. third third Saturday in April, I believe, the open season for for gobblers. And uh, oh man, they're mm-hmm. out in full effect. We saw at least a good group of thirty. It was beautiful. And and me, I, I, I'm just like so obsessed that I just sat there watching them for a good 20 minutes. I would honk my horn, hear them gobble, react to the horn. It's just, yeah, I'm a geek for that stuff. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we used to go call coyotes all the time. We, uh, oh, go yeah? Out, yeah, like a, we had a dead cow out in the farmer field. We'd go to the, out to the field and... Uh, up on a bluff or something like that and then fall so what they you- would come, come to the uh they'd smell the the cow the dead cow yeah yeah, yeah. we could just take them out and what we did is we uh would kill them and skin them and then sell them and we, uh-huh. I think we made about 40 dollars a pelt wow and then on bobcat we do we make about 600 dollars a pelt so this is back yeah. in the late 70s and early 80s too so sure. They used a lot of fur, uh, especially for the army and stuff. That's what they use coyote fur for the for the coats. What do you guys use to call in a coyote? Is there a special call? Is it almost like a duck call, but it makes yeah, it's fur? it's like a duck call, but it's specifically for coyotes. Okay, okay, yeah. And then we have we make our own scent uh-huh. for, for the coyotes. My dad would basically this is gross, but you take a five gallon, or I mean a big old pickle jar, huh? You put you know, when we go catfishing, we would take the heads of the catfish and dump them in the jar, jar throw in a rattlesnake, a dead rabbit, whatever. <laughs> and then you put the lid on it and you set it in the back of the house uh-huh. or the back of our well house for the whole year oh, until wow. the wall is completely just liquid. Oh, boy. And then you take a little dripper, you know, you, you would put it in other little bottles, but you put a dripper. And then we would put uh, our traps out uh-huh. around and drip a little bit on the top surface of where the uh, trap was. Oh, okay. And uh, I mean, they could smell it for miles and miles away. It almost and if you got it on you. It was not coming off for at least <laughs> two weeks. It's it's bad as being sprayed as a like a skunk. It almost you like one of those uh, crocodile hunters. They used to like ferment uh, pieces of chicken and stuff. Yes. And the stinkier, the better, right? <laughs> yeah. Stinkier, the better. And yeah, see, for me, I don't know. I, I mean, uh, what did we used to use? I, I had a, something called a box call and a slate, which is uh, just a piece of, I guess, acrylic. And then you use a stick and you rub it against it. And it makes a, you can make all the different turkey sounds. Um, yeah. Uh, like I said, I, I, I still remember this one hunt. It took me about three and a half hours. But... I remember hearing it far off in the distance. I got it up to about 40 yards. And then I had a buddy that was kind of new to hunting. He got overly excited and started just kind of moving a little bit too much. And then there goes my three hour uh, calling that I did for the turkey and I, I didn't get the shot. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You would do a, wait, uh, do a rabbit call. It's a injured rabbit call is basically is what it is. And, it's a real high pitch. Yeah. yeah. And, um, but we'd have, it's got a specific coyote call for sure, it. Sure. Yeah. All right. How many people we got in here now? Yeah. Eight watching. We got a while yet. Now I got turkey on the mind. I know. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard from Keys about anything yet. Okay. Um, so either one of us, it doesn't matter, um, cause I already ran twice today. So it doesn't, you know, to me, just as long as we're helping her out, that's all that matters. So if you're right. free, you can do it and then, um, and then I'll do it when you're unavailable. Okay. Till we get her off yeah, her she butt. Yeah, she she should be off her butt. That's what she needs to do. Get off her butt. <laughs> or, yeah. She broke her butt. Yeah, but that that happened a while ago, so it must have been quite the fall, eh? Yeah, well, 
now they that she's in a turtle shell brace for her oh, back okay. and then she they told her about two more weeks in the turtle shell but oh. that doesn't account for the damage to the this and wow uh, everything else that she may end up having to get fixed how unfortunate man how unfortunate and i believe she's a person <laughs> Silver Keys, yeah, she's been out of commission for a while. That uh, poor thing. She's yeah, for, for almost like the this year. I mean, she just got knocked down. They had the COVID and it kicked their butt and had long COVID. Golly dolls. Yeah, they, got, they got hammered right in January when they first got all that mess. So. Yeah, and then they get done with that. She gets back in business for like a week or two and then she falls. Yeah. yeah on the ice oh. so i'm hoping she can get back into to the game soon and be healthy again and feel good oh, yeah. Flu. sorry about that oh that sucks <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. i picked these up at the uh, coin show today yeah those are cool i like those yeah that is the the dime holder yeah. Or you can fill it with shot, I guess. You, yeah. yeah, you can fill it with shot. You can fill it with dimes, smart dimes. Nice. Yeah, one of the guys, I, I, I bought some dimes from the guy, and he said, don't tell the lady up here to sell these, but she said for me to show these off, then I can have them at the end of the show, and at the end of the day, cool. he said, here you have them. So I broke the tip off of one of them. I had to glue it back on. So uh -oh. <clears throat> it just real, real small connection but yeah it's pretty neat though got this little thing that you so it looks like they're connected to going into the gun never had the flu hopefully you never do because it sucks gobble gobble well it, it the flu is just like recruit crud that was awful Oh, Lord, emergency. Hey, the hook, how are ya? Oh, man. Thank you for the raid. Stacking with passion. Welcome in. Hey, Jessica. How are you doing, Jessica? Much love. John Shank. So you had an angiogram yesterday. I'm pretty sore today. Was it for the heart? Right. I knew that uh, you were having surgery and all kinds of stuff going on, John. Definitely been in our prayers. I just mm -hmm. uh, make the hook. Hello, hello, hello. Me, Chu, John oh. Shank, Master Ray, Coin Junkie, Tire Stacker. I'm just catching up. <laughs> Like, hey, I didn't say hello to everybody, so hello. Yeah, yeah. Have they given you the results yet? See which, you know, which arterials may be blocked? I'm going to have a neck surgery next week. Clean out the arterials in the neck. Yeah. Put some stamps in and stuff. There's Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Hey, hey. Uh oh, still connecting. There she is. Can you feel the connection? <laughs> hey, Ray. Hi, Jessica. How are you? <laughs> Monday, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what I basically do. I run angiograms on people's eyeballs. We're looking for the same similar things like with the heart. Like sometimes when we find situations with the eyes, when I'm doing the dye studies, we have to refer them right over to the cardiologist because if we're seeing it in the eye. It's happening with the heart and it could go to the brain. That's what I do. Look at the turkeys. Yeah, that, that's part of the group that we we saw last week driving around wow 
Yeah. Because the old herd putting. Yeah, I can't wait to get back into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I miss bird hunting more than anything else. I used to do dove, quail, pheasant, grouse. Um, I think uh, goose, duck. Yeah. I don't really care to eat duck, but I do goose. I love the goose. Um, like I said, the chuckers and the pheasant were, were fun, except the, the, it wasn't like wild pheasant or wild chuckers where I'm at. We don't have uh -huh. them, so they were raised. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, and then he would plant them. You would grab one of his dogs that he was trained, usually like an English setter or something like that. Mm -hmm. and You'd go and flush them out, and then yeah, take your shot. Wow! <clears throat> but delicious. I, those yeah, are good, yeah. good eating birds. Well, what we used to do with the Canadian geese. I mean, you you can roast them just like you would a turkey, you know, for like uh, Thanksgiving. That that's fine, but they're usually dry and uh, oh, okay. Didn't really care for them that much. But what we do is when we shoot them, we take the breast and then we would fillet it and then mm -hmm. chicken fry it. Oh, holy cow, it's so good. It's amazing. And uh, yeah, that's, that was the real deal when you chicken fried the breast. It was really, really good. <laughs> that looks like your field. Well, I'm in Canada, so definitely not your field, me. <laughs> but maybe you're talking about the number of turkeys that are out there, but yeah. Let's do this. Let's see how many people we've got in here right now. We've got 13 watching. Please share it out. Hit that like button. I need to actually press this. There we go. Good. There we go. 13 and 13. Not too bad at all. Don't have anything in there. Let me close that tab. Well, I guess we can start running through some stuff, and then I have some ideas for when it kind of slows down. I'm going to be getting some stuff out, so let's get over here. I'm going to change my cam. Hello, Daryl. Welcome in. Hey, look at that. Hey, we're what's up with that? <laughs> we're getting double. Stacking silver, stacking silver. <laughs> All right, so here are some of the pickups that I got at the Pew Pew Show. Oh, not too bad. Nice full date. Good detail. 29P. That one's for eight. There's the other side there. Hey, stacking with cracking. But stacking cracking. What's a crack a lacking? At least a cracking. So that's a 29 Philly. Here's a 29 S. Really nice condition. There are eight. Here's a 28 Philly. <laughs> and a 27 Philly. When I saw that they had really complete full dates, I was like, okay, I'm going to grab those because you don't really get to see them with full dates very often. That means they're not just your regular junk silver if you can see a good full date and detail on them. These have pretty good detail. So eight, 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 and seven. So if you have any interest on those, let me know. Midwest Coin Club, how are you? So we have 27, 28, 29S, and 29 Philly. So if you have any interest on those, you can put bin and which one you want. Move along. Let's do some Mercs. Uh, 17 Philly for 
four. We have a 16S for five. Here's your S. That one has definitely been used for the years. 16 Philly for five. 36 Philly for three. And a 39 Philly for three. So if you're interested in those Mercs, just let me know which ones you want. Yeah, those are some good early ones. I sold the uh, basically Met State one earlier the show this morning. <laughs> Downstairs and my Merc bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely so all right this is a starting bid of 15. this is a 1958 uncirculated benji this thing is blast white blazer uncirculated benji it is nice so that is a starting bid of 15. If you want a Benji, a 58 Philadelphia uncirculated Benji. I do want to tell you guys, it does have a crack in the bell. I don't know when that happened, but it does have a crack in the bell. <laughs> you get a kick out of it. All right, Thomas is in for 15. Anybody for 16? Anybody out there for 16? That is a beautiful Benji. All right, I'm going to let Passion count these down. I'm going to put her to work. Donald comes in at 16. We're looking for 17. How are you doing, Donald? Looking for 17. We're at five. We're at four. Three. This one's going to get so two and one. Looks like Donald may take it home. Let's call. Final warning. All in. All done. And so I went to Donald for 16. Wanted to let everybody know my shipping is six dollars. Layman. And you got that for sixteen. There you go. And if you can, this is my email address and my PayPal. My Cash App is down below. So if you want to pay with Cash App, you're more than welcome to. If you do cash up only, please make sure that you do send me an email with your address. Got to have that address or I can't do much. But way to go. That is a nice one. All right. I'm going to start this one out at six. This is the 1962 Balboa, quarter Balboa, starting bid $6. And it's in great shape. Nine to Five silver. Starting bid is six for the Balboa. Quarter Balboa. I like all the decorations in the helmet. The design. Bracken likes it for six. This thing's in really nice shape, too. A 
Looking for seven. Anybody else? Oh, it's 90% silver, not 90. They have 90, 9.25. It's actually 90%. That's what I thought. Because this is the U.S. minted. It's a minute out the San Francisco mint for Panama. All right, let's count her down then. Kraken wants to take this home. Nineteen sixty-two. Ninety percent silver. I'm gonna correct that there. That's how I got it from the coin shop. That is a ninety percenter. Three, five, four, three, two, one, last call. I think we're gonna sell it. Sold to Quacken. Six dollars. Kraken doesn't. He's already paid his paid his shipping, so he's all good on that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is an eighteen seventy six seated dime. Starting bid is fifteen on it. One dime. Starting bid. 15. This is a the 100th anniversary of the United States, 1876. <laughs> Anybody on this one? That one looks like it's going to be a pass. We'll move along. I do have some silver quarters here. These are the two of them are the 06. This one is an 03. So we have Missouri. These are all the silver proofs. 06 Nebraska and Colorado. They are $6 each. If you want one or all, you can just put which ones you want. You can put Ben six. Has anyone of you heard from Paula Bloom? I talked to her a few days ago. But I didn't see her at Ida's either recently. I need to call her anyway. Just talk to her. Hey, Koi Dude 69, welcome in, brother. How are you? Million dollar Meg! Woo -woo. How are you? Let me see if I can do this. Let me go to. Hey, folks, welcome in. Nightbot. Dashboard. Art channel. Joining chat. Nightbot is now joining. No. Uh, I'm like confused. Heart channel. That would be to leave, I guess. I don't know why they have Nightbot that way. Let's see if this works. I'm going to see if it works. If not, I don't have Nightbot set up the way I want to have it set up. I don't know yet. I'm still playing with it. I'm unfamiliar with it. I tried to set it up. No, nope, that must have not worked. It says it's locally connected. Commands.
Exclamation, find me. Yeah, exclamation, find me. It doesn't look like it's working. That's all right. Big Flip couldn't get it to work either, so. I don't know what the deal is. I still got to play with this a little bit to figure it out. As I try to set it up. It just doesn't want to play nice. Yeah, I don't think it's working. Let's see if it works for bait the hook. No, don't want to do that. Spanners, private, private commands. No, it doesn't look like it's working. I'm not sure. Exclamation box. It doesn't do anything. Or night. Because it's supposed to make it a mod. That's what it says here. It's supposed to mod make it a mod. And then it can run it. But it doesn't want to play. I can't get it to work. I'll have to, play. I'll have to talk to Keys and play with it some more. Okay, so we'll pass on those. Do have these. Beautiful. One cent coin. This is an 1843, full liberty, beads in the hair, petite head. And I'm looking for a starting bid of 25. It is in really good condition. Any interest on this one? 1843. So yeah, it's an 1843 on it. At marching likes it at 25. Anybody for 26? Yeah, it's in decent shape. It almost has that wood drain effect, like it's a woody. I mean, it could be probably more prominent for it to be a woody with a mixture of how they did the copper and stuff then. How are you doing, Ant Marching? Good to see you, my friend. I think I'm going to put that in a little bit better clip. Is about toasted. But I have more flips than I know what to do with. Looking for 26. Anybody for 26 on it? Let's just count this down then. All right, five, four. This is going in. Three, two, and a one. This is going to get sold for twenty. Five dollars to Aunt Marching. 
I'll let you guys know my shipping is six dollars now shipping has gone up ridiculously so that's ant marching for 25 here we go All right next thing i have up I do have this 1996S clad proof set. It is missing the dime. The only thing that it's not in there is the dime. So let's do a buck and go on it. Anybody want to do a buck and go for the clad set? Got a beautiful Kennedy. You started a new uh, Facebook group. Awesome. We'll have to get that checked out. We got Donald at one. Kraken comes in one. Donald comes right back at two. Stacking says three. Donald comes right back at five. We're looking for six. Anybody for six? A great way to start working on some really nice coins here. Looking for six. Racking is out. Apparently, it's just Donald in. We're going to count it down. I can't wait to see what Ashes has. I'll probably be bankrupt by the morning. <laughs> kind of have a feeling. Five, I'm four, three. Talking. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you and Ben, I mean, you and Benjamin, you're killing me. <laughs> and sold. Congratulations. For five dollars. Not bad at all. Donald. that up there okay hey, Kraken. let's see if anybody has any interest in this this is going to be a starting bid of 225 it is a five ounce silver bar still in the original plastic 999 fine silver elemental five troy ounces Starting bid, 225. And that thing is awesome looking. Let's see. I am right about there. That's where I'm at. If I'm in Texas. Looking for a starting bid of 225. Any interest? I had never seen a bar like this before. So I definitely grabbed it up. I have definitely had an eye on it. No, just one for one time only, Donald. That's all you need. Just one claiming email. Just as long as I got your address that's what's important so i can get it out to you so no interest on that five ounce bar All right i do have some different stuff these are all let's see yeah these are three dollars a piece if you're interested they are patches. They do have the Velcro on the back. They'll stick to the hat or to a koozie. 
three dollars each. So there's that one. There's that one. And this is probably me right here. Doesn't play well, well with stupid people. <laughs> Those are $3 each. You guys, these are uh, Velcro patches. Uh, so if you have any interest on those, please let me know. Hey, WTX, how are you, brother? Member for three months, Mandy's Candy. How are you, my friend? It's good to see you. So we have all those patches, $3 each. And then I have a couple of other items here. These are all, let's see, these are eight, eight dollars each. They're keychains. I thought about casting these in silver. I thought that would be kind of cool. So I have that one. We have this one. And we have the skull. If you have any interest on any of those, those are $8 a piece. You can just put Ben. Did you see this, WTX? That's what I got today at the Pew Pew Show. It's a five ounce silver bar. I think it's sweet. All right, so no interest on those. All right, so let me set those aside there. Put that up there. And now we're going to go. Hey, Coin Junkie, did you want to show anything? Uh, I got a couple items. Uh, okay. Also, uh, scrolling down here at the bottom, going across is the early bird trade day at gmail.com if you guys want to send items that uh you need to send a photo you want to send your payment information how much you want for it whether you want it to be a bin or you want it to be a starting bid include all of that information in that email and how you would like to get paid and we can pull that up and i will show those if you're interested in just sending some images and items that you guys want to sell so no problem with that. All right. Bringing Coin Junkie up next. Awesome. Um, What's going on, everybody? Coin Junkie AG here. Hope everybody's doing awesome. Up first for me is $3 face of 50% silver Canadian quarters. And I am asking... Kiwi Silver Demon, welcome in. Let's see. What am I asking? Uh, starting bid of... $30. And that is for $3 face of 50% silver. If anybody's interested, we can do a $30 starting bid. Just melt it into a block. Right. <laughs> yeah, once it's yours, you can do as you wish. <laughs> exactly. No worries. And if the 50% is not your thing, here is some 80% Canadian yep. silver quarters. The 50% is all 68s. Yep. Uh, this is 80%, and if anybody's interested in 80 versus the 50, this is $3 face value, and I would like a $49 starting bid for $3 face of 80% silver Canadian quarters. Mm. 
and the 80% would be 67 and back and a mix of dates. Yeah. It's a good way to stack some silver. No problemo. Uh, if I'm still up and you guys want me to revisit something, feel free to ask. If I have time to bring something back up, I'll definitely do so. Uh, up next, I have some circulated Bobcat quarters. Uh, nice chunk of Canadian silver. I bend these out at five each. If anybody's interested, please feel free to let me know. I do have multiples. Uh, shipping from me to you guys is $6 with tracking. And that gets you up to eight ounces of goodies in your pack. Hey, Captain Vic, welcome in. So if anybody's interested in the Bobcat quarters, I have these for five apiece. All righty. Uh, now he's going to pull out his tunies. Soon, soon. soon. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you all do well. Maybe now you got some constitutional silver there. Yeah, maybe we're more interested in some 90% silver. Uh, for this one right here, I am asking a starting bid of, uh, let's give it a go. Uh, we can start it off at 26 and see where it ends up. This is a dollar 40 face, which is roughly an ounce of silver. And I'm asking a starting bid of $26. Hey, Kraken, he doesn't know anything about those, those, uh, 2009 pennies. You'll have to ask somebody else. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All righty. No worries, guys. All right. Up next, I have a 40% Ike. If anybody's interested, I am asking a starting bid of $9. Nine dollars for a silver Ike in 1976. Not too shabby. In case anybody's wondering, I send out invoices, then you can pay with Visa, MasterCard, Google Pay, American Express. Uh, pretty much, uh, chickens, turkeys, yeah, right? Reading chef in the mail. <laughs> I ask because I have a gift for you. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. I don't it. think he wants herpes, though, Draken. Oh, hey, hey, hey. The gift that keeps on giving, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a gift that keeps on giving. I don't think he wants herpes. <laughs> yeah, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make up a joke in reference to his name as a Kraken and somehow giving me barnacles, but I couldn't figure it out quick enough. <laughs> All right, guys, up next, I have an NGC graded uh, uh, 1945 Washington quarter. I am asking a $25 starting bid if we have any interest. That's a pretty five. $25 for graded Washington quarter. Beautiful quarter. Let's see. And Mr. Kraken, uh, I still have a wallet for you, good sir. Mr. I believe it was me, uh, purchased a Canadian half dollar and gifted it to you. We can either continue to wallet or I can ship it out as early as tomorrow. 
you let me know good sir do you guys want to come up and sell or hang out please do so there is the stream yards link uh 25 dollars for this one jessica is the starting bid no problemo okay i have one of these washington half dollars 90 percent i believe it's from 82. uh i'm asking a starting, shell. asking a starting bid of 12 dollars 12 dollars i think uh gray sheet uh, what did you tell me mr ashes i think it was like 14 bucks so i am asking a 12 dollar starting bid And that one is a 90% silver. Sure is. Ooh. All right. Tough crowd today. No worries. Uh, okay. How about a $27 starting bid for choice? And the choices will be a sunshine. I think it's sunshine, right? Yeah. Sunshine yep. mint uh, round. Okay. I have one of these guys right here. It's like a fake panda round. Uh, this guy right here. And then I have a wrong season one ounce coin. This is a Christmas round, but still a chunk of silver. If anybody's interested, we can do choice with a starting bid of $27. Thomas is then at 27. Anybody for 28? We got 27. Do we hear 28? Thank you, Thomas. Appreciate you. Good, sir. Hopefully your pack made it to you. Safe and sound. I'm actually surprised how fast Mr. Ray got his. I think it's about a week it took. I, yeah, that was, or less. I mean, it was fast. I was, was shocked. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I was pretty excited to get those tunies. Will do, Kraken. Will do, buddy. I have zero issues with wallets. So we got 27 I have issues with wallets. <laughs> Mine's always empty. <laughs> 27 do we hear 28 for the one ounce, guys? Oh, you like yeah. that? It's Jessica. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Count that down then. We got Thomas at 27. We're looking for 28. Oh, pretty, she said. 20 to do here, 28. Five, four, three, two, one. Last chance to dance and sold. Congratulations. Which one would you like, good sir? Sunshine, fake panda, or uh, Christmas round? I believe this one I got from Keys. This one I believe came from Miss Ida. And this one I'm not sure. Hey, Doctor Who. How's it going? He's thinking. He's thinking. Which one would you like? Sunshine and the Panda. Um, Let me think about that one. Sunshine and Panda. Ah. I'll do one, bud. I was hoping to get a little bit more. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll think about the second one, but for now, uh, I'll do one at 27. I hope you're okay with that, Mr. Thomas. Just or the sunshine, then. Okay. Awesome sauce. There you go. Thomas for the sunshine. Thank you very much, Thomas. I really do appreciate it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What else do we got? Kind of ran through everything. 
but, but I think that's it for me. I'll uh, step down for the time being. If there's another round, I'll definitely give it another go. Okay, sounds great. Thank you very much. It's time for the ashes. Let's see what he's got to play with. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Let's see, everybody's still hanging out here midnight in the East Coast. So I'll roll through some stuff. And if you like what you see, let me know. I'll stop and back up. PayPal friends and family on the screen, Cash App. And my uh, shipping is six bucks unless you go over 13 ounces, then it'll be a flat rate. <clears throat> Excuse me. First up is 1773. This is a uh, Virginia half penny with period. That's what that means with period. They make one without a period. That one's 108. It's a pre colonial coining coin minute in 1773 at the Tower of London and uh, shipped over in 1774. Uh, and then it sat here and then they distributed them in 1775 and then we became our own country in 76. Uh, next one is an 1829 classic hit half cent. Super, super nice coin. Uh, right there, reverse, 358. Up next is an 1804 Drake Bust Half Cent, uh, crosslet four with stems. One oh one. 1853 braided hair half cent. There it is. And that was 97. 55 half cent braided hair. Ninety-two. Uh, Eighteen hundred. Drink bust large cent. That's seventy-four. I have two eighteen oh three. Drink bust. A uh, small date, large fraction, and a small date, small fraction. So two different ones. This one is the worst condition of the two. See the date. That one's 74. And you can see the fraction focuses. You can see the one there, and you can compare that to this one. That's a smaller, smaller fraction. So uh, the AG three seventy four eighteen hundred three VF twenty. Ask five hundred, and don't forget, you can always say, "Hey, can you do a little better?" and Probably can do a little better on any of these coins. The eighteen fifty four slanted five large set. That one's seventy. Next up, I have some half times. 1853 with arrows. 
That one's 36. 1853 O is scratched. You see the X right across the front. Just some knuckle here. Good night, stacking. Somebody just really just ruined it. Just ruined that coin. It's crazy. Still good coins, but uh, 145. It's got this stupid scratch. 1867 S. Maybe she'll focus sometimes. She's got a mind of her own. There we go. That one's 86. 1827, cap this time. That one is 61. 1835, cat bust. 24, 1836, cat bust. That was 40. Got a shield nickel, 1867, for 31. 1872 shield nickel. That was 34. 1867 S half dime. You want to set that aside for me? Yep, that one there. Yep, I'll lay it over. Sixty-seven S. H D. Gotcha. All right, gotcha. Thank you. Eighteen eighty-three. No sense. V nickel. No, make no sense. Fifteen dollars. <laughs> Eighteen eighty-five. V nickel. Ooh, where is keys? She needs yeah. that. Yeah, if she's looked at this one, it's. She wants to get a better one. Yeah, well, it's just that's why. We're still, just even though it looks like this, it's just terribly. Yeah. Terribly expensive for what it looks like, but it is an 1885. Yeah, I, I, I spent a good chunk of change on mine. It is a key date. A ho, ho, bo, nickel. You say, who's a ho? It's a hobo nickel. Yeah. Okay, now back to the dimes. All right, yeah. 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 Here's a seated dime, 1853 with arrows. Does have a little spot right in the middle. It didn't go all the way through. Not sure what someone was trying to accomplish with that, but you can see that little dot right there. Stabbed it with an ice pick. Yeah. 1856. She's a slick. All day. That one's just eleven bucks. 1875. Blow the bow. This is Carson City. 32. 1875. Above the bow. That one's 47. 1876. Carson City died. 43. Eight, another 1876, a little better condition. Full Liberty. That one's 49. And there's a Carson City. 
1877 below the bow. That was 34. Another 1877. Full Liberty. That one's 145. Another 1877. Little dark toner. No toner tax today. That one's 180. 1883. Super nice condition. That one's 80. And 1891. It's going to be a nice one. AU 50, yeah. Yeah, super nice if you look. There we go. A little bit of toning, and that one's 80. Mm -hmm. yeah, so barber here, just seven bucks for 1897 Barber, 1903 Barber, Full Liberty, that one's 32. Uh, Nice little BU Merc. Nine bucks. 42 Merc. Four bucks. 42 Merc. That was 18. 44 Merc. That was 16. Another 44. That was nine. Uh, nice BU type rosies. You're asking 25 for that one. Twenty-five for that one. Old toner. And we got some sixty-fours. Full torch on that one. A little 64 proof with some coating on it. And then we have twenty cent piece, eighteen seventy five, twenty cent piece. That was one forty five. I have a second one this week. That's 250 for that one, but probably fairly close to that. Cat bus quarter, 1821. 210. Another cat bus, 1836. 221. Uh, seated quarter, 1853 with arrows, 17, 76 is 47. Hey, Moose Ox, how you doing? What's up, Moose Ox? How are you? 1876, Carson City, that's 36. Another 1876, and that one's 88, just a little bit better condition. But wait, there's more. 1877, Carson City. That one's 72. There's the CC there at the bottom. Another 77, a little better condition, 105. 77, Carson City, 120. Uh, Barber Corner, 1914. That one's 20 bucks. 1837. Cat bust half with a reeded edge. Here you can see the edge. That one's 364. Seated half with arrows and rays, 19, 1853. That one's 81. 
1853 O. That one's 81. There's the O. 1854. 78. There's the O. 1857. That one's 77. 1858 O. There you see Full Liberty. That was 330. 1858. That was 63. Fancy Holder, 1858. Oh. Yep. They do take a while for sure, Bruce. Just to find it for sure. 67 S. 115. 1918D, uh, Walking Liberty. There's the 18. There's the D. That was 27. And um, nice for example, 42, 53, or 43P, 22. I don't, I don't write this on there, by the way. I don't know what an AU triple plus is. Apparently, I don't think it's a 58. That was 27. Well, this one will hurt your feelings. Nice deep cam. Benji. Spot there and spot there and somebody rubbed water or something on it and got spots. It's just crazy. But they did the thing. But good looking coin, but it just ruined it. Knuckleheads. Well, a lot of time that spotting that you're seeing, that brown spot and then the dark spot is the carbon spots. And then mm -hmm. that brown is also the toning that happens within the... Uh, with the cello. With the cello that it's in, that yeah. plastic does that to the Benji's. Let's put these out of the way here. And for whatever you, if you saw something and you want to look at it again, folks, uh, we'll be up again tomorrow. Uh, I'll try to be on uh, Mama T show tomorrow. If not, Ray or I, one will be doing the after show. One of the two of us is hosting. Uh, probably be me that will be hosting there tomorrow. Just closing this box up and get this. This box right here, I'll be done for the night. So, um, of course, the Army Navy token, y'all seen that before. That's the Army Navy Civil War token. Uh, that was 30 bucks. The Federal Union must and shall be preserved. Anybody interested in that? I have several uh, flying eagles, uh, 57, several 57s, uh, 58 small letter, large letter. So I have several of those. Anybody's interested on, you can see those. You know what they look like. If you got one you're looking, looking for in a particular grade. I have those. Uh, Indian head sense. If you're looking for a particular grade in Indian head sense, I have from 1859 to 1909. I do not have an 09S. I do not have a 77, but I do have an 08S. I have a 69 over 69. But. Uh, you know what they look like if you're looking for one in particular there's no suit i mean that's all the indians right there almost a complete full set so they run from here to here so if you have one you're looking for be happy to do that but i don't want to pull them out because that's just 
taking up too much of your time and raise time and just a lot to look at but we'll look at what's in the back of the box these are newer went to the coin show today it was a pretty fun experience first time i've been to the coin show uh, had lots of stuff down there we got uh, several uh, commemorative uh, coins uh, for my commemorative book and uh, got to hold a 1928 Hawaii commemorative coin I couldn't afford it but they let me hold it so that was pretty cool it was 2800 bucks it was sharp coin. that it was yeah uh, 1864 two center about 25 1865 two cent piece for 25 1866 45 and 1867 for 23 have uh three cent nickels i got 65 66 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 uh 73 um and i'll show you this one uh, oh what uh, did i pick up uh i picked up today i'll show you in one second so i picked up wrong flips So you'd already saw this one I'd had had for a while. I don't have my book. I'll show them to you. I'll get my book here in just a second. I'll show them to you. Uh, so I put the tone, uh, Stone Mountain in, super nice condition. I picked up uh, Alabama, uh, not a 2.2. Picked up a Arkansas. Uh, picked up a Lynchburg. That's Lynchburg, Virginia. Uh, picked up a York County. Picked up a Wisconsin. Picked up a Connecticut and a Vermont. That's what all I picked up today. I picked up, uh, was it eight, I think? Yeah, so I put eight in the book today. So I was pretty happy with that. So traded some stuff, sold some truck stuff. You know how that works. So but yeah, I'll get them here in just one second and show those to you. Um, these uh, three cent nickels, they vary in grade from, uh, of course, better example, 69 is a VF 35 type grade. Uh, but, you know, it's just a normal, you know, normal stuff. You've seen them before. You know what they look like. You know if you're looking for something in particular. Uh, this one was a proof, and I say was a proof. It still is a proof, but you can see it's got a lot of environmental damage. This was a proof coin, wow. uh, and it's a real shame that uh, this thing got all that damage to it. Uh, they tried to make a button or something. I don't know what the heck they did. Yeah, it looked like they were trying to either jewelry piece or something. Yeah, yeah they destroyed but it. Just yeah, destroyed it. So, oh, you got yeah, that's right, Boots, That's right, right on. There's a '74, and then I have some triumphs. I got a couple of triumphs here. So I got a '52 triumph. That one's '47. Uh, got a little bit of a dent it's really hard to see but you know you know me i want you to know what you're getting if you want something from me a little bit of a dent right there but that one's 47 and this is a, a, a nicer example of 56 oops drop of course that was 155 but that's a super nice coin and then, of course, uh, there's a brothel type token. You've seen that before. Millions for defense. You've seen that before. So, let me run and get that book out of my safe. It'll take me no more than 30 seconds. Be right back. Feel free to talk amongst yourself while I'm gone. So I do, you guys see that, but isn't that cool? It's a five ounce flag bar, but it's the United States. 
pick that up today at the show. Five ounce flag bar. You know, you see flag bars all the time, but I've never seen one like that before. I think that's just killer. And I'm back. It wouldn't take too long. Thank you for being patient with me. Hey, Mark. Welcome in. Mark Cubans, how you doing? Welcome in. So, uh, at the show I went to today, uh, there was a, a lady there and she sits up and she has dance go albums. So Ooh. I picked up one. Oh yeah. So, uh, somebody had asked about a tr silver trime and 20, 20 cent piece book. That was me. She did not have that book. I remember, I couldn't remember. I thought it was, but it, she did not That's have that. To get. So, uh, and then I'm looking for the modern, modern, modern commemoratives, volume two and three. Also, the commemorative yeah. dollars, volume one, uh, two and three. I've got volume one. And I picked up, I just realized, I don't know what this is that I picked up, what number. So I picked up a U.S. commemorative book, and the, and the number on it is seven ninety five. So, how many in your commemorative book? How many coins are there, Ray? No, in the two in the two volume set. Let me grab it. A lot. That's all I know. A lot. Oh yeah, kind of. I just realized. I didn't realize this till just now. Uh, I picked up this book and I just looked at the edge of it. Of course, it was a good deal. I mean, that's how much I paid for it. 15 bucks. Yeah. But it's volume number. I just saw where it said volume number two. Yeah. That's the volume two of this commemorative yeah. set. So I was like, yeah. well, shucks. So if anybody's looking for a volume two of the commemorative book with a slip case, let me know. I've got that. I'll hook you up. Uh, that's not what I thought it was. I made a mistake on that book. That's okay. So here is all of them here. If you look inside the inside, yep. it'll show all of them, the commemoratives for this, for the set. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks, looks like that list right there. Yeah, that <laughs> right there. There is a lot. Yeah, I looked. I, I didn't pay a I, I I didn't even dawn on me that's what that was, but that's all right. So that's a, just another book, another day. So, but uh, move my keyboard here so I don't hit my keyboard. So, so there's the Alabama I picked up today. This Alabama, uh, this Stone Mountain went in today. There's the alley, baby, and it's not a it's not a two 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 times two two x two. Yeah, you get the same one I have. Yeah, and then there's uh, my stone mountain. And let's see. Put the Vermont in today. That Vermont right here. This one. I don't think I have that one. Then I put in uh, the Connecticut and the Arkansas. Put those two in today. I don't have the Connecticut. I do have an Arkansas. One of them, anyway. And of course, there's my son, Santiago. Yeah, uh, there. Put, put the Wisconsin in today. And let's see. York County. I really like the York County. I really like. I'll show you the back here in just a second. I think it's a really good looking coin. Yep. That is a really nice one. And then there's Lynchburg. Lynchburg is in. Yeah. And here's the back of that York County. See, I don't have the York. Yeah. What the there's, there's the back of the 
the Wisconsin with the Badger. And then the... Uh, Vermont. In Wisconsin there. In Vermont. There's a, a siren right there. A little cougar, that siren. <laughs> what kind of stone mountain did you have, Blue Sox? I can't believe I missed, made that mistake and got that second book. It's the wrong book. So now I got to try to find the first book, try to fill up. I'll never fill that one up. Good grief. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, quite a project. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's going to be quite the chore. Let's see here. Let me show you one more thing here, then I'll be done for tonight. I'm going to head to bed because it's 1230 for me. But, um, Hey, Moose Ox. Not just one, not just two, not just three or four, but there's more. What, what are you looking for there, Moose? Yeah, what grade do you want? Any in this row is 110, any in this row are 65. I got you covered. Feel free to let me know what you need. I got a few. show the first Saturday of every month okay I got you well you notice I got I got several of them so they'll be here I'm sure but uh, I may just have to go back and see if uh, maybe she'll let me exchange that so I'll keep the slip cover maybe but swap out uh, that book even Ben Ben looked at it with me he's like oh yeah so I just now realized it was the wrong one so Well, folks, uh, unless anybody wants a trade dollar or a seated dollar, that's all I'm going to show tonight. So, Ray, thanks for letting me come up. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for coming up. B2 2024, how you doing? Welcome in. All right. Yeah. He says he's done, and then he starts pulling out the good stuff. Well, I was just saying, I mean, while I was waiting to change the camera, and I mentioned them, I just figured I'd show them right fast. I mean. Yeah. And... Wow. <laughs> oh, Buck and go. Which one? On all of them. For the whole oh, lot. Yeah. We'll do a buck and go on the whole lot. Yeah, so there's 46. <laughs> and there's, yeah. I might get fired if I do that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Trade dollars, yeah. need a dollar. Got, got a few of those too. Yep. Uh, all have been verified on the Sigma. Uh, Moose Sox says he's at a dollar. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's how I feel too, Muzak. What kind of dollar are you going to give me? I mean, is it like <laughs> one of these dollars? You give me one of these dollars for it? Yeah, and then when you flip it over, you'll see why 
what they are. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they're all, you know, it's just $500 a pop each or more. Yeah, three to four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. Yeah, it just depends. You know, this one's low, lower price it's example. Just, uh, it's just three grand. Nice. Yeah, it's, it is. It is what it is. You know, it's just three three thousand. Things are these things are just nuts. You know, just all the ones I saw at the coin show down there, they were the same way. So yeah, they uh, the, oh, the people at the coin show they weren't too bad about beating you up. Uh, you know trying to sell you coins they were all the dealers every dealer i talked to if i went to buy a coin they pulled their coin out and they went to gray sheet uh, and they they tried to give you a good deal on it and uh, somewhere between the, the wholesale and the the gray sheet value so i really couldn't complain uh so the stuff i sold you know it was a little bit less than what i was expecting to sell them for but not too bad so uh yeah yeah he did so then of course i picked up this little 50 cal pew pew bullet here but you know you unscrew it and that's how you reload it so it comes loaded with dimes so that's pretty neat so i'll have to get the plan for that so i can print those on the machine we've got 3d printer so pretty neat those are pretty neat Yep. Well, that's all I got, folks. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. I mean, it's uh, 1236. This old man's going to head to bed. I will see you all tomorrow at uh, Mama T and Big T's house. And then uh, unless something happens, I'll be streaming tomorrow after hours uh, for the flea market. And if it's not me, it'll be Ray. But I believe it'll be me. Could Something may happen. I can't. I'll let Ray know. But just be watching for one of us to stream tomorrow. Absolutely. Like and I got your coin put back here, Ray. So we're good. So awesome. All right. All right. Thank Thanks, you. everybody. Have a good night. You too. Good night. All right. Let's come on back up. Help us, my. I picked this up from the coin <laughs> from the Pew Pew show that I went to Pew Pew and Knife Show. This is a five ounce flag bar. Elemental five Troy ounce silver. I am looking for 225 on it. It's already been at 225 on the five ounce silver bar. Yeah, it's different than uh, just your regular flag bar for sure. Or to be cut out in the United States. That's pretty sweet. That's the first one I've ever seen like that, too. So that's pretty nice. All right. So I'm going to put some other coins out here. We do have some standing Liberty quarters right here. SLQs. This is a 27 Philadelphia looking for seven. Good, strong date. I have a 28 Philadelphia. No point. Or eight. 29S for eight. Sweet. And a 29 Philly for eight. So if you have any interest in those, please let me know. These are pretty decent SLQs from what I usually see. Okay, next up, I do have some silver proof quarters. We have a 2006 Colorado for $6. We have a 2006 Nebraska for $6 and a 2003 Missouri for six bucks. Each one is six dollars. Do you have any interest on those? Okay. 
glad to see I'm not the only one who has staples in my flips. Yeah, but I bought this really nice stapler that flattens the uh, the staples out. Miss um, Cointreau uh, and Keith told me about this stapler. So I went on Amazon and got it, and this is awesome. It's an awesome stapler there for coins for sure. Because it uh, staples them flat and they cut through anything like this hard cork cardboard like hot butter. All right, so moving along from that, I do have an 1876 Philadelphia seated dime for 15. Starting bid of $15. You're looking for an 1876 seated dime. I don't know why they stuck that on there. It's not a half time. Got that from the coin shop that way. Yeah, so get the Max. If you, you can look it up on uh, Amazon, the Max stapler. The best best one for coins, period. All right, I do have some Merc dimes. We have a 1939 Philadelphia for $3. I have a 36 Philadelphia for $3. A 16 Philadelphia for five. Good full date. A 16 S. There's your S met mark right down there. And a 17 Philadelphia for four. I think I'm going to drop this down a little bit. Let's see. I'm going to drop these down to $7 each if you have any interest in these keychains here. Uh, the pretty cool little scroll there. And the two pew pews. Seven dollars each. I was thinking about casting these out of silver and using these as the molds. Wouldn't be too hard to do. It'd be like a full ounce of silver on each one of those. It'd be kind of cool. This one might be about two ounces, about an ounce and a half. I want to be closer to four if I do that. All right, move along. Next up, I do have some patches. These are $3 each. These are Velcro patches. They go either on your hat or your backpacks or whatever. Those are all $3 each if you have any interest on those. And then we have the pretty bar. That's basically all that I have. Coin Junkie, did you want to show anything else? Uh, I think I'm good, buddy. I'm like struggling to stay awake here. Yeah, that's what I'm struggling to stay awake too. <laughs> oh. Apologies, I'm sorry for not being much of a seller today. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling pretty wiped myself. I, I had planned to do, I'll show you some of the stuff, the pickups. I'm going to show you guys the pickups that I did get for, I got the mail and the stuff I got from the coin shop. Let me show you that stuff, guys. I think you guys would be pretty excited. Oh, awesome. All right, first up. 
to. We got the modern commemorative type set, 83 through 2004. That is the volume one. <laughs> we got the Washington quarters here, 2010 through 15, including proofs and needed that one. The District of Columbia. And I got the Mexico Liberty Cap album. And I've got like three of them in there right now. These are a little bit too early for this album. So I do only really have one in here. But it is a very tough album to get. So I was pretty excited about getting that one. So that's like the Mexico uh, Morgan, basically. So this is the dance because I recently got in. We got more on the way. I got my quarters in the mail from the Mint 2004. Show you those. These are pretty cool. How many patches are there? There is a total of five, I believe. Let me, where did I set those? Just move them over. Uh, let's see. Total of five, yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Total of five. So I did get that in the mail. So that is the new women's quarter for 2024. Yes, three dollars each. So if you want those, just let me know. So that'd be 15 for all. And then your other total was 25 on the coin and then six dollars for shipping. If you want those. You've been all five. Okay. We got it. And 15. Ship is going to be six. There we go. Yours, my friend. Sold to Ant. Okay. So some of the other pickups that I got. Proof. Five star generals. It's a pretty neat one. We'll probably end up cracking it out of there and going into the album once I get the other volumes. We have the USO 91. That's definitely going to go into that album. And then I got a whole stack of stuff here. Let's start with some of the foreign here. All right, not really foreign, but so Superman got a really nice one. I've got the ounce and a half Canada there, the Falcon, and the antelope. And I got a 39 half dollar from Canada. These are some nickels that I got. I'll show you these because these are incredible. That is what a B nickel is supposed to look like. So that one was the 05. This is the 6. And then that's the 83. So I got those. I did pick me up at 2019D because the one I had in my album sucked. So I upgraded it. All right, got a 1853 Raisin Arrows. That's 1853 O. I got this from Coin Junkie. Excited. I did pick up another commemorative half dollar. This is a 2008. And then I got a bunch of dimes. So this one is. 1852 seated dime. This one is a 1888S seated dime. 
1872. Eighteen fifty six O eighteen seventy eight eighteen forty nine O and then I got some bust ones here. We got a twenty nine. Well, here's another seated. That's a seventy three. There's another bust. This one is a 33 and a 31 and a 34. So those are the pickups from the LCS. And all the stuff that I'm going to be putting into my albums over the next few days. So I'm pretty excited about all those. There's a lot of coins to deal with. So, yeah. Definitely said some really cool stuff. Switch my cam here. All right, guys. Well, it's that time. Looks like we're going to head to bed, guys. We'll okay, see you guys okay. tomorrow. I'm going to be over at uh, either me or Ashes is going to be running Key Stream, unless Keys is running it. I just don't know yet. We'll let you guys know. We'll post that and then share it out to everybody so everybody gets that information. That will be after Mama T and Big T are done. So roughly, usually about 6 o'clock is when we start that up. So we'll let you know. And I'll have this same stuff up for sale for tomorrow and maybe some more. We'll see. But uh, Well, guys, I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful night. And uh, let everybody tell you goodbye here. Thank you for passion for coming up. Have a good night, yeah. everyone. You're welcome. That's and then, great. <laughs> yeah. And then Coin Junkie is probably falling asleep on his desk. I see him moving around. <laughs> He's telling you good night, everybody. <laughs> all right. Love you all. Have a great night. Good night, y'all.